Hey again everyone, this is Scrotum Bones here. Hope you're all doing well today. Got another nurse video for you. I just thought I'd record them uh, in this sort of way again. I kind of did enjoy the voiceover way that I was doing in the, in the very first video. I just thought I could talk a little bit more about my thoughts. Sometimes when I'm in game, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm talking a little bit more in a reactionary way rather than uh, kind of, you know, what I'm thinking. So, yes. I think I'll just kind of cut the video here and then get straight into the actual the actual game. Okay, so we're spawning in on Coal Tower at the Macmillan Estate. This is actually a classic map, I think, um, used in tournaments a fair few times. From what I've heard, anyway. I'm not really a tournament player, of course. So I'm just blinking towards my uh, corrupt generator zone. See if I can spot anyone. You know, it's kind of going around, doing the motions, that sort of thing as usual. Just trying to keep an eye out. Uh, when I fatigue, I look up with my mouse, so you get that little bit of extra um, kind of sight. I don't do the fatigue cancel anymore because I've heard that it's bannable, so yeah, just don't bother with that. And I think... I think I spotted someone over this direction, if I remember this game. Somewhere to the right, I, yeah, I spotted a bit of movement. And in fact, it, it turned out that these people... I don't know how they all got past in whatever way. They were quite stealthy at the start. They seemed to get on generators pretty quickly. Um, kind of out the blue, if I remember. But uh, yeah, we went up here. I believe I heard this generator being worked on. So tried to chase this near. I think I got a nice little two blinker there, which was pretty cool. And uh, so she went around this, uh, this building here, around the coal tower. I tried to blink round. And then she just kind of ended up getting a lot of distance. I swung there, but yeah, she dead hearted. That was actually a good blink, you know, but she did use a dead heart and pressing the E key is a good way to evade Nurse, as it turns out. So I blinked through here, she actually turned left. I kind of misaligned myself to the window there. I, I did know the window was there, I'm used to this game, but yeah, we did end up getting her down. A few procs on the old uh, infectious fright. So I went up here, I think she took off to the left, I think she had sprint burst by the look of it, so I think I just kind of gave up on her. Or did I? I can't even remember, to be honest. I tried to blink through the house, but yeah. My blink apparently just got just got swallowed there. Didn't hold it down for the full duration or whatever, and uh, yeah, blink got completely swallowed. So then I did find someone else. I think. I'm not going to try and preempt what's going on because sometimes I can't remember half the time. But uh, yeah, I gave up on her. It looks like the other person got healed, unfortunately, in this time. So yeah, I mean, there's me flying around again. They've reset. A little bit unfortunate, but there's all these scratch marks here, so. Thought, so, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. And oh, there's a Claudette there, being a Claudette. Being, being a blender, I should say. In her natural habitat. And then she hid around the corner there. Like, the way she. As if ducking is going to make me less. make her less visible. I guess it technically does, but yeah. Here's a Dwight anyway, so we went for the Dwight. Oh, yeah, my blink got swallowed. I don't know how. I guess I was looking down a bit too much, but uh, yeah. Blink through the window, got the Dwight. Um. Yeah, so I decided to hook the Dwight first, rather than the Blendess. I felt like this was a bit of a mistake, though, because, as it turns out, uh, when I was looking for the Blendess right now, you'll see, it's just like, I could not find her. And she was right here, right, she was somewhere right around here, in this kind of uh, walled area, but just couldn't see her. She, I don't know whether she had tenacity. Or something along those lines, but she was definitely a blender on the floor. That's for sure. She just, I just couldn't find her. And then, uh, and I, I thought, well, I'm going around in too many circles. I'm going to go back to Jen's and see if I can at least get Pop on the go, do something with Pop Goes the Weasel, and just kind of give up on looking for this blender while everyone else is on the Jen's. You know, I thought someone will pick her up. Maybe I'll find the person who picks her up. That be, they might be a little bit more visible. Yeah, P3 blender, man. Uh, they are the bane of, of the existence of some, some some killers, you know. And they've got a gen done over there, unfortunately. But that's, I say unfortunately, it's just is what it is. Two gens. I've got, what, one hook and an injury right now. Um, yeah. Kind of a slow start, if I'm perfectly honest. But we did see some scratch marks over here. I think I thought, oh, well, maybe they've gone around the side again. Trying to hide underneath by those rocks. That's what people often do. That's why I look around there. But the, yeah. Uh, there's like three people here. Got a one blinker there on the uh, on the shovel. 
I thought, well, we'll go for the shell. She's nice and bright. <laughs> Get her down. So take her down now. I mean, the actual blinks we're we're actually pulling off here. We're not doing too too badly at all. We're we're um, the chases aren't long, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, Infectious didn't proc there, so I don't know where everyone went. I just decided to hook her, look on barbecue. Uh, there's a person hiding over here, the Dwight. Get this kind of max range second blink on him. Again, just, you know, barbecue helping us out. Without barbecue, I would not not have known he was there, obviously. I think he's a... Uh... Yeah, I tried to blink a second time there. I think I just held it slightly too long and didn't get the... Uh... You know, I just fatigued instead. But I do get the Dwight on the floor. I actually forgot that I, I hooked him like, from the very start. So, I don't know if I tunneled this this Dwight. I didn't technically because I did hook other people in between, but... Yeah, I didn't realise at the time that I'd hooked him so many times. But, you know, I found him behind the car. And... That's what happens, I guess, if you find people. Oh, there's a Claudette, just hopping over. Um, but I want to kick the gen instead. I thought, well, what's more important at the moment? He's trying to keep pressure on those gens. If I go chase his Claudette, um, someone else might just run from run from around the corner in the meantime and pop that gen. So I thought, well, we'll find other people as well. Obviously, they missed a skill check here when, when healing, so I thought, well, let's pop over here and see if I can find a couple of people. Turns out we found three of them. And... I think I got two hits there, and I decided to chase this Claudette over here. I thought, well, I want to get you this time and try and get you on a hook, seeing as you're so hard to find. Again, I don't know whether this was a mistake, because, again, I lost her here, it seems. And um, there were two other people in close proximity to each other, so this is probably a mistake by me. Yeah, and you can see already I, I just lost her. I went to kick this gen while I was here. And I just thought, well... Yeah, I'm, why not try the locker? The gen's got progress on it. Someone's obviously been here. There's no scratch marks, so I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna try the locker. And there's a Cheryl just hiding in there. Pretty, pretty good luck, I'd say. And uh, yeah, someone's um able to evade the old barbecue by hiding behind a gen. But they did move, and I did get to see them. And I think they went. They go towards the right here and start running off towards the walls. Yeah, it's the the blender which I can never catch. Finally, she's on the floor, and I'm going to hook her this time. <laughs> these blandettes. These blandettes. So, we got two hooks at the same time at the moment. Always adds a bit of pressure when you can get that on the go. Um, yep, yeah, just going to try and get over here. Is this is this the Dwight again? Here yeah, it is. This poor Dwight, man. Like The, the chases with the Dwight weren't very long, and I, I found him on barbecue. Yeah, he just kind of runs around the corner right back into me, so that's unfortunate for him. I decided to go over here. I, I think I was just wanting to check on this gen and its progress and, and get Pop, um, you know, back on the gen. Just to be safe. You know, it's not far away from the from the Dwight, so I thought I'd get back to him quickly. So now we're going to hook him and uh, see if we can spot people on the good old barbecue. I don't always look on barbecue. Sometimes I f either forget to or I'm just busy doing something else, you know. Yeah, here, this is the situation where I decided I'm just going to use pop. I tried to look around here, see if I can get a bit of extra barbecue, but I think I was a little bit too late on it. And at this point, there's two other people I've got to try and find now. There's the Nia, who has the bright clothing, and the Cheryl, I think. No, it's the Claudette, so I think the Cheryl must be on the... Yeah, she's on the hook I found in the locker, right? So this Nia, she was giving me a bit of a chase. It's like she always seemed to get lots of distance on me. Like, yeah, like she's obviously doubled back there and I didn't see her. Maybe she went through me, I landed on top of her, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, she was giving me a bit of trouble for whatever reason. Oh yeah, I, I don't know whether that was auto aim or I think she actually dead hearted. I believe she dead hearted there. And yeah, where did she go here? She, d I think she just carried on, but I have no idea how I didn't see her. And look how much distance she's made. This is just crazy. I was like, how on earth did you make that much distance? Yeah, I don't know how I lost her in those few frames when I went around the corner to um, to, to the uh, to that door of the uh, shack. So that's that was kind of crazy. Yeah, I thought, well, there's some scratch marks here. They don't seem to lead anywhere. I went back and I was like, hmm, not this again, hey, not this again. <laughs> there's the blendette. I got quite lucky with this locker, you know. They just chose to hide in it right next to the gen and. 
Yeah. So, nice bit of um, pop on there, next to the gen. Quite funny, that locker. That's kind of the, the, the fun aspect of this game, I guess. Just the people hiding in the locker next to the gen. And, yeah, now, now it's back on the chase. Oh, gosh, what happened there? Was I going to kick this gen or something? I don't know what I was doing here. So, yeah, here is the Cheryl. Nicely bright coloured. Anyone in white and that like kind of light blue, like the uh, like the Nia. Nice and easy to chase compared to those blendettes. Oh, yeah, Blink got swallowed here. I remember this. It infuriated me a little bit. Because I blinked kind of along the wall. I mean, it's kind of my own fault. If I aimed slightly more left, I would have got that Blink through. Again, I don't know what happened there. It looked like I blinked through her. Oh, yeah, I got my mouse caught on my... Um, or my mouse wire caught on my speaker underneath it. Sometimes if you see me um, twisting twisting around like that, that's often what happens. My mouse wire gets caught a, a lot, so... Yeah, so we're gonna hook the Cheryl again. I mean, this game kind of did... I mean, we, at, at this point we didn't get a proc on um, Infectious, so I just hooked her. But yeah, we, we started to get a little bit of pressure on the go. And she's dead now, and we've only got two left with two gens. It's just about locating them. Some birds over there, but yeah, yeah, this is where my wire was caught again. I was spinning round. That was kind of uh, annoying. Guess we pop this. I think I was going to the to one gen, just trying to see which gen had more progress. Wasting a little bit of time, I guess. I haven't played this game perfectly at all, but um, kind of worked out for us. Uh, yeah, just looking for people. I guess I saw someone. But yeah, I I guess they missed a skill check. Yeah, I think here I was still having trouble. It was like just for some reason my wire was catching under this speaker, like on the corner. It kind of just kind of, it kind of um, traps it on, on the corner of my speaker for some reason. It's just like the way it's shaped. I checked this locker. No luck this time. It's not gonna happen three times in a row. And we find the near. Oh, that was a bit of a uh, bit of a stretched one. That was kind of max range hit there. Poco's hit. Uh, can we get us max range? Yeah, I think I just held that slightly too long, so it didn't get the blink off. Yeah, and if you hold it as long as possible, you can get that blink to work. And here, bang. To be honest, I thought overall my blinking accuracy wasn't too bad. When I was actually in range of someone to actually get the blink off, I managed to do it pretty well. Yeah, she sidestepped there. Nice little movement. But that's one of the few times I actually didn't get to hit it. I swung it, swung it up there. Didn't need to blink that time, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I think she just kind of spun me a little bit there or circled around that tree. Not entirely sure what happened, to be honest, but uh, this might be the longest chase that I had. Uh, optimistic swipe by me. Again, maybe I was... Yeah, there we go. There's the final hit. Maybe a slight, slight, slight bit of frustration kicked in at the end. I was like making a swing at something which obviously wasn't going to hit. So I hooked her over here, mainly so Barbecue would show me where the other person was. I know there's a hatch nearby that I did pass in the middle. So, kind of wanted to get back to this person before the other person died. I didn't even wait for my second blink to come back, which is kind of bad. I swear the hatch was round here. But uh, we did find this person. I don't know whether they knew where the hatch was. I think it's just around the corner, actually. I think it's pretty... Uh... Although I didn't hear it. I don't remember hearing it here, so... Maybe it was on the other side of the logs or somewhere around there. But yeah, Coal Tower. I think it's uh, one of the better... Surely one of the better maps for Nurse. And by the way, I haven't been recording loads of videos. And um, the reason why I'm doing it this way is partly because, as I said, I, can in I kind of enjoy talking about my strategy a little bit when I'm kind of recording and then voicing over. And secondly, I can actually just record a video in peace and quiet and then do the voiceover later when I know that I have um, a space to myself to do it, you know. With this background noise going on and such. So yeah, kind of a fun game there. I enjoyed it. Uh, the fun times with the lockers for sure. The blendette that I couldn't catch. We actually got our Merciless again. I, I'm getting pretty lucky in these videos I'm recording. I'm not recording loads of them at all. It's not like I'm trying to find good videos to record. Just the ones I happen to record here at the moment. Um, 
have been good. By the way, in the future, I will try and record videos that don't go too well. But anyway, until next time, I'll see you soon.